Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to import user accounts from a CSV file into Backendless application. And with this approach you can control pretty much every single property that would be there associated with a user account, including passwords that users can use to start logging into your Backendless application without any prior registration, simply because all the accounts would already be there. Let me demonstrate how it works and then we will take a look at the structure of the CSV file so you know exactly how it needs to be put together. To import users into your account, uh, of course, this assumes that you already have a CSV file. Uh, you need to click on the Manage icon and then click Import. And in here, if you're importing a single file that contains all the user accounts, uh, you need to click the Browse uh, for Data Service for the reason that the user accounts are stored in Backendless Database. Click Browse. I have a file called Users.csv. Uh, you click open uh, or selected file uh, using whatever the operating system that you're using and in this case it is Mac OS uh, you will see that the file is uh, uh, it shows up like this and then click on import the next step will be to confirm the uh, data types for the columns that you have in this case I have only three columns which is email name and password and the data types are going to be strings so to confirm this just click finalize import and now Backendless starts importing user accounts into your application. Depending on the size of this file it's going to be either instantaneous or may take some time if you have a lot of them but uh, by clicking the data screen and in users you will see that uh, all the information from that CSV will just show up here. So these are the accounts that I have brought from the CSV. Uh, to demonstrate that the values for the passwords work, what we can do is just start, uh, just log in any of one of these users. Let's say it's going to be Batman uh, by clicking REST console and then user login. So the identity is Batman at backendless.com. And the password that I have set up is going to be just password. So we'll type that in, click login, and now the user is logged in. So this demonstrates that the password that I had in the CSV is exactly what uh, I can start using to log in into my application and this functionality simply just uses Backendless API. Let's take a look at what this file actually looks like and uh, uh, there are a few interesting things that I want to point out there. So th this is my CSV file and as you can see it contains three columns. Uh, this is the email and they're comma separated then the name and then this long value is actually the password. So I configured uh, the passwords to be all the same uh, because it was just easy, uh, not necessarily what you would need to do in your application. The very first line is the line that uh, documents and describes the individual columns. Uh, Essentially, the, there are a lot of constraints and so on that are described here that you can learn about in the documentation. But the very first thing is the name of this column. So in this case, this is the email. And then we have name. And finally, uh, we have password. So these are the three columns. Uh, let's talk about the actual password. So the passwords are never stored in clear text. You need to provide the password in the CSV that is already hashed using the BigCrypt algorithm. Uh, what I did is I found uh, there is a website that is called browserling.com and in here you can type in whatever the value that you want to encode and click, click BigCrypt and then the value that you get right here is the hashed value of the raw password. So what I was doing in the CSV is I took this value right here and I put it right into the CSV. So this way, this is the value that will be stored in Backendless and this is just the hashed value of the word password. So therefore, in order to log in into Backendless, I can use the raw value that this hashed value represents. And as long as you do this, then you will be able to pre-create user accounts and assign the passwords that your users can use. If for whatever reason you don't want to assign passwords and you just want the users to uh, change the password for the accounts that you create, 
then Back Analyst provides the API to change the password and see the documentation for uh, for all the details. Uh, but as far as just bringing the information about your users into Back Analyst, it is going to be as straightforward as, as I just demonstrated to you. I hope you found this useful. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.